And welcome back, Hunter of the Wild. I'm again ready to go after a few animals here. And also I've been clicking around trying to figure out more stuff. So here go the F keys. If I hit F1, I see my character. I have to exit this. And then I can go forward. F2 brings up the uh, the weapons, how they are allocated to my keys. F3 brings up the skills. F4 gives me the perks. I wish I could switch directly to the next there F5. There should be a track nearby. Thank you. F5 shows me the missions. So I'm still with the take a photo mission that I haven't been able to do. And before I pick this up, F6. Available competitions. Be the first to harvest three fallow deer, be the first to spot five animals and so forth. Uh, I can see other players here and somehow they have collected points already, more than I have. So apparently there's some competitions here. I think these are multiplayer competitions, <laughs> of course. But um, what I mean is uh, it's not like I can do single player and someone else does single player and this will all add up. Somehow we have to be in the same game. Uh, when I hit this, be the first to hit an animal within 50 meters, competition started. So now I'm somehow in this competition. I'll figure it out how this works. Road here going east. So in the last episode, I have to go back to this stand at the water. Uh, lose a few words on that. First of all, I, lo I forgot that I wanted to really look at the water, how this is made. Uh, so hopefully we'll get there again. And then secondly, I said this is useless to stand, but then I was thinking afterwards, maybe it is not that bad after all. It could be a drinking area where animals come to drink. That could be the possibility. I just didn't think of that before. If that is the case, then of course the stand is perfect. A fox. I wasn't fast enough, I cannot hit E. But let's go forward slowly. My weapon is ready. Somebody asked, can you shoot using the iron sights? I sure can. But right now I need a little bit of money so I can gear up on stuff. So my main focus will be to actually getting the animals. But we'll try the iron sights when a animal is really close. Did I pick it up? Did I not pick it up? No, I did. Might be the fox that has called. I like this direction better. There's a road here ahead of us. And we are in deep woods here. Because we have a collar. Let's see if I find it. And we have a road here scent. Only 10 uses. That's not very much. So I will have to keep buying this stuff which could make me spend a lot of time at the stores, constantly having to 
re-equip myself with ammo, with scents. So hopefully that's not going to happen. Hopefully there will be larger packs available. Because the last thing I want is to constantly having to worry about getting the equipment. I know there's a road here. But I don't know how far and I really have to get up to this opening here. Oh, I can see it. One is here. And one is stuck there. That's a chance for a lousy hunter. As myself. So laying fl flat here is a problem. The road here disappeared. I don't know where it went. I might have spooked it. <laughs> Competition is over. <laughs> I am the winner somehow. Even though I haven't really picked it up. But the competition measures that I hit the animal. So I'm making some money again. And as you see, I really go by the calls. I really go by knowing there's an animal close. The tracking right now doesn't tell me how far the animal is. Maybe this will be better later. But here is our roe deer. <laughs> Almost 900 in cash. Integrity is always 40%. No matter what I do, at least that's what I've seen so far. And we've got a kill. So since I was complaining about the stand at the water... I forgot to look at the water actually, so my own fault. That's what complainers get. Here we have a lot of tracks. Going south more or less. So we've just seen roe deer together, two roe deer together. The hunters of Germany among you will know whether this is accurate, whether roe deer will t travel together in fall. We've also seen seven fallow deer in the last episode. Warning call. And now one track shows up at 70 meters. Is this now telling me where the call came from? Or is this our wild hooter giving me some hints? Because I'm surrounded with tracks right now. This is bad going through the underwood. this fellow deer easy <laughs> yeah well maybe for you
Listen. Did you hear that? Was that running of animals? So didn't I just shoot a roe deer here, 50 meters away? And there's a fallow deer. So again, my observation here is that the animals do not run as far away. How much money do you get me? 770. The M key, by the way, works bringing up the map, but also showing me my my money and whatever this minus one is. I haven't figured that one out. So we're making some progress now. Nothing to be picked up. Well, I'm assuming the tracks from the dead animals will also be removed, as we know this. So is this one a symbol staying from a track that has gone? I don't know. Road here going ahead. Another one going backwards. I will keep tracking here. I'm sure this will do me good sooner or later. Well, let's look at the skills. F3, if I remember, yes. I have a skill point available. And I haven't used it, so let's use it. <laughs> what is this? Reveals information about gender. I have this already. About the group size would be level 2. I'd be interested how far away an animal is. That is my interest. So... A line is drawn in between tracks. Which one? Maybe it's in here. I'm not going to waste your time reading through all this. Or I'll do it some other time. But I have a skill point that I can spend. So this one is for getting the tracking better. What am I going to spend this on? This is good. I like this. Reveals, reveals information about approximate group size when investigating need zone tracks why not spend it spend it spend it yes bye so this is now at level two and then perks i don't have any perks they really only come with the missions that i cannot progress on okay well this won't be a problem for you guys once you go with the full version. This will of course work. And there won't be any bugs in the live version. I have to say these guys have done a great job. I'm not sure how long they've been working on this. But um... It's great, so... My goal is here to get up somewhere near the water but then also unlock more question marks but oh, there's an outpost there and maybe further up we've got wild boar and red deer who knows so I should really go and un unlock that outpost this shall be my goal now The tracking is not easy. Well, it's easy if you keep hitting the E key. But it's not like click, click, click as you go. 
I still miss a lot of tracks. Some of the comments in the video said, well, you're a lousy hunter. You should not be running. You should be uh, sneaking around. You should not go through brushes and stuff. Well, I agree that I am a lousy hunter, but sometimes it's not possible to avoid the, the, the bushes. You have to go through them. And also, I disagree that animals will be super scary when you run. Um... It was one of the first episodes, I ran down the hill and there was a fallow deer standing right next to me. So, at this point, this is not leveled yet, so there's a fox here. Even though I have been running, guys. So, yes, you can run at this point, maybe this is going to be tweaked a bit. Um, but there's a fox close. And I don't think I've shot a fox, have I? Weapon is loaded. Where else can I go except through the underwood here? Do -do 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 -do. At least some rocks. Please call again. Looking at the leaves here, <laughs> they go all over the place. You can see where the wind goes. That's where the leaves go and they go all over the place. So to me, this is not clear, at least here. Sometimes you can see it better. The leaves fall down, so maybe the wind is from top to bottom. Yes, I'm coming closer. I'll be right there. So it ran, or something ran. Then I can also hear something. I thought I heard footsteps running, but I can hear something trot. Something's ahead of me. Maybe stuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty loud for a fox who runs away. Yes, I could lay down and crawl through the woodwork, but I was not going to do this. Because the fox was right here behind the hill. And even if you crawl, you will just crawl up to it. But they don't run far. That's the good part. I saw the fallow deer last time.
and it's almost the same daytime, maybe an hour later, we might see some. So the fox without the lure, just sneaking up to it, is hard. Now it's up there. Honestly, I will not do much stalking. I will try and get enough money quickly to buy lures and then only do it with the collar. This you only do in the beginning. One hundred. Hopefully somebody from Germany is going to tell me what this means. Doesn't have to do anything with speed. At least I hope it doesn't. But we've seen a real sign. 60 kilometers white um, symbol with a red frame. A round symbol. That's for the speed. This is for something else. Can we get this fox and some money with it? <sighs> hmm. Now I have to get into the vegetation here, looking at the ear symbol. Still not too bad. <sighs> yes, 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 tell me, show me. Oh, there you are. Alright, wish me, wish me luck guys. It's only a fox. And there is the fox. Three animals in a rather short time. Here we go. Woohoo! 99% quick kill bonus. That's hard to believe. Recovery bonus. For the first time we've got recovery bonus. And we've got $872. Thank you very much. Stay in touch.